Today is day two of the jungle cleanup behind F.B. Leon Guerrero Middle School. This cleanup was slated to begin today, but a large backhoe arrived on the school campus Saturday, and the International Bridge Corporation started their cleanup yesterday. This jungle has been associated with the group of students called the Outgators, which skip school and hide there throughout the day. School officials also found out that these Outgators were students who were suspended and would hide there until the school day ended. In the past, a chain-link fence at the back of the school property had a large section cut out making it easy for the students to leave the campus. There was also a maze of trails zigzagging beyond the fence line, a playground carved out of the jungle by these Outgators. Today, the fence line is repaired and the jungle behind is being cleared away. Assistant Principal Patrick Egrubai says they will clear about 50 feet along the perimeter behind Simon Sanchez High School and F.B. Leon Guerrero Middle School. According to Egrubai, what you're seeing today is the visible manifestation of an ongoing collaboration between the Department of Education, the Mayor's Office, and different GovGuam agencies. The mayor has taken the lead in coordinating this uh, clearing. Uh, there are permits that had to be secured. They needed to relook at uh, uh, property maps to know where the boundaries of the different uh, properties are from the, uh, the landowners to the government to make sure that we're clearing the right area. And then after that, securing a contractor to get the work done. Jigo Mayor Robert Lazama says this project has brought the community together. In seeing that we end the year in a good note, you know, in seeing that perhaps next year we start, uh, you know, fresh and perhaps the kids are right now out of school. They're in uh, Christmas break and that when they return they're going to see that there's a new uh, uh, facelift to the um, campus of F.B. Leon Guerrero and Simon Sanchez High School. Egrubai hopes this new facelift will deter students from skipping school. Now the students will actually see that we mean business when it comes to skipping off campus. They'll know that uh, this behavior is not tolerated. Uh, we're removing from them a place where they like to skip out and sending a strong message that we will not tolerate this behavior. F.B. Leon Guerrero interim principal Erica Cruz says by having the perimeter cleared away, it will make it easier for school officials to see if the students are behind the fence and it will also allow the physical education classes to utilize the fields. In the past, outgators would often throw rocks at the students while they were attending phys ed classes. Our PE teachers uh, have been using the gymnasium because of a fear, the fear of you know kids throwing rocks at the at the students. So now they'll be able to use the soccer field and the baseball field, which is, uh, I guess, a wonderful relief for our teachers. Although this may be a short-term solution for the school, there are other things the school can do in the long term, such as educating students and family members about skipping and truancy. Well, last week we were able to go to the Gilbaza subdivision and speak to parents uh, and family members there, and that's the first step and getting our parents to be uh, more involved in the, in the education process. Uh, we want to continue the dialogue, the communication with our parents, and that's key to success, honestly, in ensuring uh, the, the uh, success of our students. Egrubai also adds that making lessons to be relevant for the students will make them want to stay in school. He also says most of the skippers might lack certain skills, and as educators, they will need to find a way to teach them. According to Mayor Lazama, at the rate the crew is working, he believes that the area behind Simon Sanchez and F.B. Leon Guerrero will be cleared by either tomorrow or early Wednesday. David Macaluso, PNC News.